Here we are again with John DeLeo. This is season two, episode three of No Small Parts. <laughs> Good to be back. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, a very famous movie, Gone with the Wind. So, you know, a movie like Gone with the Wind, which is between three and a half and four hours, there's a lot of people who come through, of course. But the one I chose to write about is uh, Ona Munson, not a very famous name, but she plays Belle Watling, the prostitute, for just six and a half minutes of a movie that, as I said, is nearly four hours. And um, she's got a couple of scenes, but she's got one really beautiful scene that sort of makes her a natural to be in the book. And that's this uh, in the carriage. Uh, it's a scene with Olivia de Havilland as Melanie. And uh, Belle Watling has hidden uh, Melanie's husband and some other men from uh, the law. And Melanie feels beholden to the prostitute. And she's such a good hearted soul. She doesn't care that she's a prostitute. She wants to thank her and say how grateful she is. And the prostitute can't believe that she's being treated so kindly Humanly. by a supposedly good woman, you know. And what's beautiful about the scene, well, she comes to say, you can't come visit me. Uh, it would ruin your <laughs> reputation. And she's like, I can't thank a woman who was kind to my family. She's so good, she can't see anything but the goodness in people. And what's beautiful about Ona Munson's performance is the way she kind of opens up and it turns into a real conversation between two women who could have been friends in a different in a different uh -huh. world. Two women who are both mothers who love their children, um, and it's just uh, what Ona Munson does is shows what it feels like to be treated with respect, with dignity, and it's just this beautiful coming together of two people who will probably never see each other again. Uh -huh. And of course, the scene climaxes when. Ona Munson, as Bell says, you know, if you see me on the street, you don't have to say hello to me. I, I get it. And of course, Olivia de Havilland says, I'd be proud to, you know, call you my friend or, mm -hmm. or however she says it. And um, it, it just, it's, it's just so lovely and understated. And even though in some of the other scenes, you could see some of the toughness of what it is like to run a bordello uh, during the Civil War. Uh, but the that scene affords her the fragility. And then... Um, she has that uh, scene with Clark Gable where you can tell uh, not only has she been a pal to Clark Gable and a sex partner to Clark Gable, but uh, that she's in love with Clark Gable's Rhett Butler and she's never going to tell him and it wouldn't matter. He wouldn't uh, be with her. He's still caught up, uh, you know, um, he'll never get over uh, Scarlett O'Hara at that point. And so, um, again, so much of what she's doing in her six and a half minutes is... Um, inside but we can see it yeah. and in that scene with Olivia de Havilland she gets to sort of express more of what's what's going on inside that's her. interesting because it's almost like an example of feminism in a movie that you wouldn't think of at, at all feminist especially for the famous line frankly Scarlett you know? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so so that's interesting that you pick that role yeah. and that that part of the movie because for, for that period of time yeah. in that movie was a real statement you know of, of women bonding and yeah. how um, whatever your status is, yeah. your, your femaleness is important. Yeah, and right, she's doing the best she can to support a child that uh, she never sees because of you know. But she's doing well, and she can send money so he can have a better life and all of that. But you know, a lot of those old movies, there is that back and forth. There, there's often the dated qualities of the men and women relationships right. and what's expected. And then there are these strong, challenging other things going on. Well, certainly like a, Scar a Scarlett O'Hara character is remarkable for what she achieves in a man's world. You know, it's sort of take no prisoners. That's what I want. I go after it. Right. And there is a lot of that sort of that balance of uh, you can have both things going on in the same piece, certainly. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, so a lot of these, they're, they're timeless because of things like that. Like they might have things in them where you cringe some some old sure, movies, sure. but there's something about them if they sure. stayed around this long that really is positive and, and warms your heart. And so much of like, obviously Gone with the Wind is set in the 18, you know, 60s and I guess into the 70s. I can't remember exactly what year it ends, but you know, movies are also about the year they were made. You know, right. this Gone with the Wind is also about 1939 and where 
the culture was at that moment and the choices that are made and how you depict the previous century. So uh, the, the historical value is, uh, you know, it's more, it's complicated in a good yeah. way, in a good way. Right. Ona Munson in, um, as Belle Watling, and she's in other movies, you'll see her, but if, you know, if she hadn't done uh, Gone with the Wind, it's unlikely most movie fans would know who she was because you know pretty much anybody in that movie uh, is remembered for being in it, of right. course. And um, and like I said, as short as it is, it's a plum role, so good for her. Yeah, and it sounds like I'm going to watch again. Every time I speak to you, I want to go back and watch a movie <laughs> to see things that I never saw before. And I'm sure good. people who watch this will do the same thing and go back. And I want to look zero in on that performance again and see it with the new eyes that I have now, a better understanding for what the relationship was between those two characters. Great. Thanks again, John, so Thanks, much Nick. for appearing with us. The book again, no small parts, 100 outstanding performances with screen time of 10 minutes or less. Thanks. Thank you. And if you like this video, check out the No Small Parts playlist on this channel for more of the same.